so many. I mean, you can take literature, you can take, and there's you'll see Saturn. There's a structure in everything. There's a structure to sound, to music. There's a structure to a painting, to to the way we move. If you're going to be a runner, you're going to have to do the discipline to run, and you're going to have to decide. I'm going to make a commitment to this. So making commitments, being responsible, that's Saturn. I made this commitment. Can I live up to it, Mars? Will I do it, Mars? Well. If my Jupiter is working well, I can see the value of the commitment and I can guide the Mars properly to go do it. But if Jupiter is displaced and you're stoned or you're spaced out and you're not seeing the priorities of what you want to do that well, or you think you can do it without having to become, get the, without the training, you're going to make a fool of yourself and you're going to get disrespect, dishonor, and you're not going to achieve as much as you could. So at any age, whether it's trying to stand up and having to make the effort to do it, having to run, and having to walk, having to put up with, you got parents, you know, as soon as you get rid of you, there's always authority, there's always limitation. We have our parents, our father to begin with, we get out of home, we run into our teachers and our authority figures, we get out of the school, we run into our bosses and our employers as authority figures, then there's rules at home, the rules are Saturn, the laws, the rules are Saturn, and there's rules at home, there's rules at school, there's rules at work. If you haven't dealt with responsibility at home, if your parent, if your father's not there, your parents are fighting all the time, by the time you get out into the world with teachers and other people, you're going to get run into problems with those te those authority figures. It's going to carry on and you'll run into trouble with the law. So this process of time, uncontrolled energy is problem. Too much controlled energy is really tedious and boring. Some people have really a strict discipline, very harshness. They're very, they're, they're very controlling and very ambitious, inhibited, and, and disciplined, but defensive. Other people are much more noble and courageous and go there and will make things happen. Whew, different energies. But the Saturn, we have a continuous relationship to it. Not only do we have the relationship to authority and people who are judging what we're doing and if we're being responsible or not, responsible or not we have the relationship to being an authoritative person. Well, if we don't grow up, how could we be responsible? We can run out, we can make love, we can run into the great God, oops, and find a kid, then we have to try and understand what are we gonna do? If suddenly there's having a kid, well, it's okay, we have a kid, we'll just wing it, whatever, but it doesn't like that. It's a lot of work to have a kid. There's things that have to be done, there's food, there's disciplines, there's a lot of work. If you understand it, perhaps you're more prepared to deal with it. So same thing with a job, with a kid, with life. So we all have commitments and things we have to deal with. We all have responsibilities. We all have some authority. But that authority is not always deserving of respect. So we don't always work and put the energy into being, getting dignity, getting honor, being, getting respect. What do we get respect for? We get respect because we're able to accomplish something. We do the effort. We put the effort in. You know, you have to respect farmers because farmers are out working in the fields and putting all this effort in, have to get rid of the weeds and then to get the harvest. And then there's the reward of the harvest. But it's not like you plant a seed and suddenly it's there. You plant the seeds, then you gotta make sure they're watered. Then you gotta get rid of the weeds for months as they're growing. And then you have to wait till it's the right time to pick them and you have to try and defend them against nature as much as possible and get the best parts of it. Everything has this timing. When you first start school, do you, do you get ahead on your homework? Do you get behind? As soon as you get behind, you're weakening your Saturn. You know, like, well, for me, when I when I go and try and cook a meal, when I cook a meal, there's a part of me that's the laziest slob in the world. I wanna, I wanna cook a meal. By the time I sit down and have dessert, I just wanna lie there a bit. I don't wanna do anything. So. The, thought, the mere thought of getting up and having to do the dishes, after, let's have our dessert relax and then we'll do the dishes later, it just piles up. So I've learned in my life to start, you know, as I'm wash, as I'm, I use a pot, as I'm wash, as I finish the pot, take stuff out, I wash the pot right at that same moment. And I'm, I'm doing, I'm getting it done in the moment that I'm doing it, but it's a discipline I've learned. Um, learning anything, learning anything, Jupiter, takes time, Saturn. Are you prepared to make a commitment for the time? Are you prepared to learn another language? Are you prepared to learn how to drive a car? Are you prepared to go through the, the restricting judgment to develop the muscles to be able to cope with it? 
so we learn tremendously from our limitations. And it's not like dad's to blame for everything. It's like we have to, we have to run into this to be able to run into those limitations out of the world. And between experiencing and accomplishing, starting things Mars, finishing things Saturn, and understanding the process Jupiter. If someone has a really good relationship between Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, it's almost the, the prerequisite for success in the, in the outer world. It doesn't necessarily mean depth, but it does mean capacity to function out in the world. We're in a place where we have so many dysfunctions and so many disruptive things, so many people losing it by alcohol, drugs, disruptions, that it's it's hard to know what the standard is. It's hard to set it up like, there's a, not everybody succeeds with Saturn. Saturn, it's almost we learn Jupiter more from our failures, Saturn, than our successes, Mars. Like, we get held back, we've got to get better, or do we quit? You know, like, so Saturn has this inhibiting, depressing quality to it, but it really is the key. It tell, it's telling you exactly what you need to fix, what needs to be worked at, what you need to be cautious, what you need to make the effort about. And this need to make an effort, to be responsible, to work hard, to make a commitment, to discipline your energies, to prepare yourself for whatever's coming up. Wow, that's Saturn. If you prepare too much, too much preparation, and there's too much delay, you never get anything done. Too much discipline, and and the staff and everybody else is going to be feeling oppressed and not working well. Too little and nothing gets done. It takes a real wisdom of Jupiter to understand what's just appropriate effort. You know, so... We have work at home, we have work, our career are eight hours, and then we have, we have the who's responsible, Saturn responsibility, who's responsible for your health, Moon, who's responsible for your intelligence and your education, Mercury, who's responsible for the choices that you make, and the things that you want, Venus, who's responsible for your confidence, Sun, who's responsible for your energy and your power, Mars, who's responsible for your understanding, Who's responsible for your commitments? These are all the different ways Saturn works through to each planet. And if your commitments aren't working well, if your Saturn's actually, it's, it's presented, look, inhibition, oh, geez, it's so miserable. But it's really the key to astrology, key to life, a good back, healthy skin, responsible life, taking care of things, not depending on other people, growing up, this is all this maturing. These are all Saturnian things, and they can be very good and useful things. So, being useful, being able to get respect, being able to see if you don't do something, somebody else is going to have to do it for you, or you're going to be left alone with it, never done. So, either way, there's a big gap in your psyche or in in your building. If you try and build a building without building a foundation first, it's not going to hold your cheap. You, you don't do the foundation properly, the building won't last that long. So it takes planning, time, effort, make the money to save up things to get your home, have the kid, put the discipline and have the things necessary. Then you got to be the father to get, or the mother to get them to school. You got to put in all this time. And when we get so, we, there'll be time, this is like, a, it's always there, but we feel it in pulses. She's I'm working so hard, I'm so tired, I can't keep up. We're trying to be overachieving. But then underachieving, I'm now, I don't feel like doing anything. That's just a much of a problem. Why bother? So Jupiter's looking for a reason or understanding why to bother. It should know. It's the guiding point. But Jupiter is always trying to figure out where I am with Saturn. What, where I am with responsibility. What's respectable? What's honorable? Gaining honor, getting respect, having dignity. Wow. What do you get? This is Saturn. But take away the dignity, take away the honor, what kind of life will you live? And we could pass blame on other people, why it's not working the way for ourselves, but really, how do you fix things yourself? If something breaks, do you fix it? If something's not good, if you have an inhibition, do you work on your weak spots and try and make them stronger? It's a secret to success at life. So this backbone of character, this is Saturn. 
your ability to discipline yourself, to maintain discipline, to impose restrictions to achieve things, to put in the time commitment to make something happen. Wow. What a difference it makes if you have a mom who's ready and responsible and is putting in the time and effort for the kids. My question is, puts in the time and effort? And a company to someone that is too immature and has the kid and doesn't want to deal with it, doesn't know how to make the commitment and his complaint, boy, there's a different, a huge difference in generations from just that attitude. By the time we die or by the time we live, we look back, we see what we've done and what we haven't done. Then we have to consolidate our understanding. Jupiter, well, I only did this. I can't do any more than this. Or we do this all the time. When it works, we see what we have to do. We work. Boy, it's good to have a good adventure, a good enemy, a good struggle to have to work for it, something, some mountain to climb. It may seem impossible, but if you work at a regular, you can build up those skills. So the Girl Guide Boy Scout model of be prepared, that's Saturn. You can do Mars anything if you're prepared. But if you don't understand the value of discipline and preparation, if you're with a team that's climbing a mountain, you're a dangerous person because you could cause an accident and not be responsible enough or strong enough or steady enough to hold up to catch someone else or prevent other problems. In a, and you see it in a band. You have the people who are really disciplined. They have their timing down exactly and they hold the timing and then they can if someone holds your timing steady, it makes it easier for all the other players to play because they know that person's always on time. So usually there's a drummer or the bass that's holding the set time and everyone else is coming in and out of it. But if that, that if one player goes off the beat, it goes off the t scale, and all of a sudden everybody's listening to hear that the, the, they lose the standard and the whole thing messes up and it's um, a train wreck for the band. So the ability to listen, to pause. How many people, like, I'm here, I'm talking to you, at you, I'm putting this idea, all these ideas, I'm talking, 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 and I'm not getting, I'm not getting specific feedback from you. So like, those who talk don't know, those who know don't talk. That's the eternal puzzle. But really, it's only because I've worked at teaching astrology, and I've lived only to working with astrology, well, I've done other things, but I've worked with it. It's been my main career for my whole life. I haven't had other jobs, not any other significant jobs. So I've taught for 40, 45 years, four or five nights a week, going over and over the stuff, over and over with classes, with people. And now since computers are coming, it's harder to get a group of people in one place. Harder. Well, there's a Saturn thing, so what do I have to do? So it took a while, but I had to learn how to do it so I could do it on the webinar and that. But in this webinar format, if everyone starts asking questions, talking, I get knocked off track and we don't cover. We've got a couple hours and I can, I'm just trying to consistently put in the pieces you need to know so you get a good exposure to seeing how, how Saturn works, in this case, in the, what Saturn is and in the signs, what each planet is. And there's no sharp, exact defining line between one planet, one planet in our, each planet being a level of consciousness. There's not a clear division between one and the other but there's a clear distinction between each level of consciousness, each, each way, and as you learn each planet, you see how each planet works and how they interact with each other, and each one has its own power. Each one has its own weaknesses. And each of these things affect the behavior in our life and what happens in our life. So how much you can accomplish, what you're gonna do, how, what your status would be, how you respect your status in the community is based on the works you've achieved. But some people, some people will just always have a great job, always pull it out, they, they have their status, they're almost born in it, they deal with it, it's almost a natural thing. Other people continually don't get the job or don't fit in, they're, they're not getting acknowledgement for the work that they've done. Now, some disciplines will come personally around yoga, around health, there's some work we have to just keep ourselves healthy and clean and in shape to be able to work. That's Saturn. If someone's not living well or they're, that they got difficulty with the center, if there's a problem, they break a bone or something, you have to work to fix it. Take the time to fix it. Because until you do, you can't be part of things, not compete. 